The 10th House of Representatives has called on the federal government to urgently implement palliative measures to mitigate the effect of field subsidy removal announced by the President Bola Ahmed Tunubu during his inauguration on the 29th of June. The motion was moved on the floor plenary by Honorable Aliyu Madaki, representing Daula Federal Constituency of Kano State, under a matter of urgent national importance, uh, titled Urgent Need to Implement Palliative Measures to Mitigate the Effect of Field Subsidy Removal on Nigerians. He urged the President to set up a committee to look into ways of mitigating the hardship on Nigerians and report back in two weeks for further legislative action. I'm also concerned that the sudden fuel subsidy removal has left millions of Nigerians terrified, thus causing untold hardship as Nigerians grapple with the challenges of meeting up not only with the high cost of petrol but also the consequent increase in prices of goods and services. Aware that in response to the resulting financial strain of subsidy removal on public workers, some proactive state government introduced temporary measures to alleviate the situation by reducing work days from five to three days per week for state employed workers pending when other sustainable palliatives can be provided. Also aware that the Nigerian Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress recently suspended a planned strike over the removal of fuel subsidy in the hope that the federal government will address its adverse effect on workers. Further aware, that, further aware of a presidential directive to put palliative measures in place to ameliorate the impact of subsidy removals on Nigerians. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.